We'll begin answering this question by first drawing the magnetic field lines. So on the left side of the current carrying wire, we have the magnetic field coming out of the page. And on the right side, we have the magnetic field going into the page. Now, because the magnetic field is going in and out on this circular wire, the magnetic field is going to cancel each other out. Thus, the flux that's passing into this surface will result in a net flux that is zero. And when we have a zero flux, there will be no induced current. For part B, we're going to do the same thing once more. And again, on the left side of the current carrying wire, the B field is coming out of the page. Now, as the current is increasing, the B field is also going to increase. Let's draw this on a side view. So imagine, if you will, that this circle is lying flat now. This is a side view. And since the B field is going out, it's going to be coming up like this. Now, as the current increases, this B field is going to increase and increase and increase. Now, there needs to be a force that opposes that change. Otherwise, it would not hold true the conservation of energy. So we have an induced current that will form to counteract the change in flux. So we need to have a B field that forms going down this way so that it will counteract the increase of this magnetic field. So this will result in an induced current that will move clockwise. And if you take your right hand and you follow the current with your thumb, you'll notice that the B field that forms the induced magnetic field will counteract the change in flux, thus verifying that the current that gets induced is moving clockwise.